Hey guys, Wes here checking in. I uh, hope everyone is doing well, having a great day, great night, great week, whatever it is when you're watching this. Uh, as I'm filming this, it is New Year's Eve. We're getting ready to go to a New Year's Eve or New Year's party slash birthday party slash anniversary party. And uh, I normally make chili. And the one time a year I make chili, uh, I like eating chili, but don't really take the time to make it. Uh, but this one time a year, and I've kind of grown into a recipe I really liked, so I thought I would uh, just make a video about it, talk about it. How do you make chili? Uh, what do you think of my recipe? Uh, the recipe I make is, uh, it's, it's a very much, I, I call it sort of a, an Italian slash Greek chili. Uh, it has a lot of tomato sauce in it. It's a little bit of a sweeter chili but it is still spicy I like it a lot so let's uh, follow along I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients real quick on what I put in my chili so let's go ahead and take a look at that okay so the first thing we have here is some uh, ground chuck this is 80 20 ground chuck uh, about two pounds of that this is actually 2.25 pounds it's what the the package they had you know it doesn't none of this needs to be exact you just sort of throw stuff in a pot it's got a whole onion. This is a yellow sweet Vidalia onion. I uh, got two cans of pinto beans. Uh, these are 15 ounce cans, 15.5 ounce cans. Um, two cans of dark red kidney beans, 15.5 ounces again. Uh, two cans of six, two six ounce cans of tomato paste. Um, I actually have a third can. I might put that. End up putting that in. I might not. It depends how things are going. Uh, but cans are easy, you know, if you don't use them, you can always save them. Uh, two cans of, these are 14 half ounce cans of Italian diced tomatoes. Uh, they have basil, garlic, and oregano added to them. As I said, this is kind of my take on an Italian chili, <laughs> if there is such a thing. Uh, and then I uh, use these chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. Uh, actually blend that up and make a sauce out of it and use that add that to the chili um, these are whole whole chipotles inside a sauce the adobo sauce in here so we're gonna be putting that in the blender uh, and then also uh, use some some brown sugar I got some dark brown sugar and some light brown sugar here uh, really doesn't matter just a little bit of brown sugar uh, never hurt anybody uh, a little bit of flour if you need to make it thicker uh, kind of make, makes it a little bit richer and uh, it's good stuff. Uh, of course, crushed garlic. Got to have garlic in there. Um, and then you got your standard chili powder. Uh, nothing special there. Salt and pepper. Always got to have salt and pepper. And of course, olive oil. So that's basically what I put in my chili. Uh, not anything crazy, not anything out of the ordinary, but it, it makes a really good chili and uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I'll put all the uh, ingredients in a brief little sort of recipe I guess down there in the uh, doobly-doo as they say the kids still say that the doobly-doo anyway uh, all the ingredients and stuff will be down there uh, the only thing that might be difficult for some people to find are the chipotle chilies certain parts of the world certain parts of the country if you don't have a Mexican population those might be difficult to find maybe you can substitute something else uh, but that's, that's what I use. I love it, and it's easy to find around here for us in Florida anyway. Uh, anywhere, definitely in the southern United States, I would imagine it's pretty easy. Uh, California, all those kind of places should be pretty easy. Uh, so the first step was to dice up the, the onion. You want to go ahead and do that before you get started because this first part, things are kind of, kind of rapid, so you want to have that ready to go. So got the onion all diced up here ready to go in small little tiny little pieces um, so that's the onion the uh, next step is to start cooking we're going to get some olive oil in the bottom of our 
uh, saucepan or our, our chili pan, chili pot, and get that going. So first thing first, get over here to the oven. The stove, I should say, not the oven. Uh, this is a, an 8-quart aluminum pan, aluminum pot. Uh, works well. Uh, just about the right size here, so go ahead and turn the burner on high heat. Add in some olive oil there. We're going to get that heated up and we're going to add in some of our garlic here and then add in our onions and get that all nice and caramelized and, and browned up. So let's wait for this oil to heat up and I'll be back. Okay, so we got our oil good and hot here. Uh, I just dropped in a little bit of water and it sizzled quite well. So I'm going to add in some fresh garlic here. Start to get that browning up. Caramelize this onion. Okay, so our onion and garlic is all caramelized. Next step is to add the ground beef. I'll just add it right in there and brown the ground beef in with the onion and garlic. So got the meat browning up nicely there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that back there, but hopefully you can see it anyway. Got it up uh, in there, burnt a little bit on the bottom of the pan with the garlic and stuff. Just trying to film and cook at the same time, not, not used to doing that. Uh, yeah, just waiting for the meat to brown up and then we'll start adding the beans and the tomatoes and stuff like that and just start letting it boil away. So the meat has uh, browned up pretty well. I'm ready to start adding the rest of my ingredients. First thing I'm going to add is two cups of water. And then we'll start opening cans and adding beans and tomatoes. At this point, I forgot to mention that you'll probably want to lower the temperature. I would do it right when you start adding, right after you add the water, start adding the beans. Just turn the temperature down to about half or so. You just want a nice, slow, rolling boil on this. Uh, forgot to do that, but it's done now and things are going along pretty well. Got the beans in and the diced tomatoes. Uh, next, I'm going to put the tomato paste in and then I'm going to start working on the chili sauce. Tomato paste is thick, really thick, so you're going to need a spoon to get it out. Okay. 
Okay, so there it is, uh, slowly bubbling away, looking pretty good. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is start working on the chili sauce. Okay, so to make this chili sauce, we're going to need our can of chilies, of course, a half cup of water, and a, a blender. So we're just going to go ahead and put our water in there, add the chilies, and blend it. what the chilies look like in there. Oh, smell incredible. Just love this stuff to death. Here is our chili sauce. Do not, do not add this whole container to your chili. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely recommend keeping at least half of this aside. Um, you can add it to some red wine vinegar and some honey and put it into a bottle. And for people who want to spice up their chili a bit, uh, makes an awesome, awesome sauce. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this for now and then we'll just keep uh, seasoning it to taste, so to speak. Also gonna go ahead and add in just some regular chili powder. And then of course salt and pepper is just season at your will sort of thing as well. All this is just seasoned to taste, but uh, as I said, go easy with the chipotles. To begin with, you can always add more later, but you can't take it out. This is already pretty thick and I'm going to be cooking it, cooking it for a while here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and add maybe a cup of water to this. Uh, it's going to obviously get thicker as it goes, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a cup of water now. Thin it out a bit. And that's all. I'll be back a little bit later when it's close to being done. Alright, so as I said, don't add all of the chili mixture to the salt, to the pot. Uh, I, may, I maybe added a third of it, somewhere between a third and a half of it, and that's pretty good right now with what I'm tasting. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make a sauce for the side for people who really want it hot, uh, really easy. I'm just going to add it, got a little uh, bottle here, I'm going to add it to here, uh, put in some honey and some red wine vinegar, and make a nice little sort of hot sauce that people can uh, spice up their chili if they want. So let's go ahead and do that. There it goes. Alright, so the chili's been cooking away for an hour or so now, getting pretty well done. Um, been adding a cup of water here and there. I did add that third cup of tomato paste in there, uh, salt and pepper kind of stuff. Just, you know, as you go, sort of make it what you want it to be. Uh, also, can't have chili without cornbread, so I made a pan of cornbread here. Uh, well, that's that's going to be cornbread once I put it through the oven. I uh, just use Paula Deen's cornbread recipe. I'm, I like cornbread, but I just haven't really gotten good at it yet. I haven't tried to work out a, a better recipe so far. 
it turns out okay. It makes okay cornbread. It's not great cornbread. It's just kind of average cornbread. Um, so that's how I like to make my chili there. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of just a basic walkthrough, as I said. It's kind of season as you taste. As it's cooking, I'll add some more water. Add some more spices here, salt and pepper. Add some more water as it boils down. I might add some flour to thicken it up. I did add some maybe a quarter cup of brown sugar. Not a lot of brown sugar, just a little bit of brown sugar in there. It gives it a little bit more sweetness. The tomatoes are gonna give you a lot of sweetness as it is. Uh, and you don't want it really sweet. It's not a dessert, but you want it just a little bit sort of sweeter as how I like my chili to be. Uh, sweet and hot and just really good and filling and rich and warm. And that's my chili recipe. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. Any questions you have, any suggestions of what I can do to make it better. Uh, let me know what kind of chili you like to make. So thanks for watching. See you again real soon. Have a great day, great night, whatever it is. Cheers. See you later.